Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one. Hey, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this. So today we're gonna be talking about if you just got a brand new Amazon Fire Stick, we're gonna just go ahead and walk you through the process. It's very straightforward. Let's go ahead and start with opening the box. So once you open the Amazon Fire Stick, you'll see the remote, you'll see the Amazon Fire Stick, you'll see the power plug, you'll see the extender for the HDMI, and then you'll see the power cord. So let's go ahead and connect this up and get it ready to be plugged into the TV. So we'll add our HDMI extender to the Amazon Fire Stick. We'll plug our power adapter to our power cord. We'll plug the power cord into the Amazon Fire Stick and now we're ready to plug it into the TV. Alright, so once you have that out of the box plugged up to your TV, you are now on the screen where it says use your Fire Stick remote and you're going to press the play button. So let's click the play button with the remote. You should see choose a language. We're going to go ahead and choose English. And then it says here set up with Fire TV app. So you can also set this up with the Amazon Fire TV app on your phone or you can just use the remote. I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed with the remote and I'll bring you another video on how to configure the mobile app. So let's go ahead and click on setup with remote. That's on the right hand side. We'll just click that button. The next step is to set up our Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna go ahead and select my network connection and you go ahead and select yours and we'll pick up on the next steps. All right, so you see it's downloading the latest software. You may see something like this. Just give it some time. It may take anywhere from 30 seconds all the way up to upwards of five to 10 minutes, but just give it a moment. It says finishing updates. And also that took about five minutes roughly. So I'm gonna give it a moment to finish these updates and we'll pick up. So it has advanced me to the next step after it did download those updates. So it says here, sign in with your Amazon account. So this is the same account that you use either your Amazon Prime or if you don't have Amazon Prime and you just have a Amazon email address or if you don't have Amazon Prime and you just have an email address that you use to purchase Amazon products, you wanna put that email address and password in this section here. If you don't have one, just go Go ahead and click on the plus sign on the right hand side where it says new to Amazon create an account but I already have an account so I'm gonna go ahead and sign into mine and I'll meet you on the next step so I've successfully registered and logged into my Amazon account it says here welcome Nate and then we're gonna go ahead and proceed and click continue it says here do we want to save our Wi-Fi password to my Amazon I don't like to save anything to my Amazon account so I'll just hit no but you can more than welcome hit yes for yours so it says here if you already have Amazon fire sticks around your house or if this is an existing fire TV device you can restore your your account so it'll basically download all the apps that you previously had but if you don't want to do that and you want to start from scratch just go to the left and click on skip so next up is parental controls if you don't want your kids to get into anything that you don't want them doing which is like purchasing items from the Amazon store just buying stuff which happens all the time go ahead and set those parental controls and you'll set a pin code and that way you'll have your peace of mind and then also if you don't want to set parental controls just click on no parental controls so it's preparing our remote for setup so this is the part where if you have a TV or a soundbar it will configure your remote to work with your TV or your soundbar so go ahead and select your brand of TV and then we'll proceed to the next step all right it does go through the steps where you can control the volume rockers on your remote so go ahead and walk through that process as well and then confirm once you hear the sound you'll get this message once you're set up here it said your fire tv remote is now successfully set up so now you should be able to turn your tv on and off with the power button and you should be able to turn your volume up using the volume rockers on your fire stick remote so let's go ahead and proceed and click OK. It says here movies and TV shows at no extra cost. My account is linked to Amazon Prime, so I'll get Prime Video for free. The next thing is Amazon Kids, so I offer a promotion, but we'll just go ahead and proceed and click no thanks. You're more than welcome to check out that offer that they provide. Also here next is your streaming services. So I normally hit no thanks here, but for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and click on get started. That way we can go ahead and click on a few apps and download them right away right off the bat I know a lot of people use YouTube TV 
Disney Plus and Hulu. So we're just going to go ahead and start by clicking those first and that will automatically go ahead and install those on our Amazon Fire Stick. You can also go to the rate. It will give you more services to choose from. You're more than welcome to choose additional items to download to your device. It's only going to install Hulu, YouTube TV and Disney Plus for now. So I'm going to click on finish and then you're greeted with a nice banner here introducing the all new Fire TV experience. You're greeted with a nice video from Amazon and I'm going to go ahead and click my back button so I can go straight to the Amazon Fire Stick home screen. So now it has loaded up my icons. If you don't have an Amazon Fire Stick account, it's going to ask you to set up a profile. Just click the plus sign on the right hand side. So this is where it would ask you to choose an avatar and set up your name. All right, so it automatically put my profile in here. So I'm gonna open up my profile. So we've passed step one, which was taking our device out of the box and plugging it in. Step two was configuring the setup. So let's go ahead and finish the rest. Right now we're on our home screen on our Fire Stick. Now we can go ahead and install the rest of our apps on our Amazon Fire Stick to go ahead and set up the ultimate streaming experience. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do, you'll see Netflix right away at the very top there. It says Netflix. You want to click on that. Even though that app says it's there, you still need to download it to your Amazon Fire Stick. So that's what we're going to do. When you click on that icon, you should see where it says here, download it. So we're going to click on our center button to download and give it a moment to install. All right, so now that Netflix has officially downloaded, now you can open the app and then start streaming right away. All right, so now we're back on the home screen. We're going to go over to the right hand side to live. And then once you're hovered over live, go down until you see something called free live TV channels. This is going to give us free access to live TV channels. That's perfectly legal and free but it is ad supported which is the way they're able to deliver this so imdb tv is pre-installed on the amazon fire stick already so we don't need to install that at all but two additional apps to install on your amazon fire stick once you have it out of the box for the first time you want to install pluto and 2b tv so we're going to start with pluto first and same thing you want to click on the download button so click on the download give it a moment to install so while this is installing in the background i'm just going to click my back button one time and go to the right and click on tubi we're going to install this as well so same thing once you see download click on the download button and give it a moment to install once pluto is done installing then tubi will start the download process and then we can go ahead and open that app and start streaming so the next thing click on your home button and your fire stick remote so now you may be curious how do we find those apps that we installed so we go over to the right hand side and you want to click here where the three squares and the plus sign is click on that and then it gives you access to the apps that we just installed so we got hulu disney plus youtube tv pluto tv tubi tv and we have netflix at the very top left all right so now that we have all those apps installed definitely start opening those apps one by one and definitely check out your new amazon fire tv experience so i did want to bring you this video and show you how to set up your Amazon Fire Stick here in 2022. Hope this was helpful. We got to install some free content along with some premium content. So definitely enjoy your streaming. Let me know if this was helpful down below in the comments. Give it a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace.